Hello my fellow YouTubers. Um, today's look was inspired by spring and I decided to take um, a dramatic route for it, of course. Um, I was inspired by the sunshine, the grass that's starting to come up, like the clear sky that doesn't have snow falling from it. Um, and I took all of those colors in together. And if you think about it, they're actually um, pretty Easter-y looking as well because like they're the, the matte lighter versions of it like it's um it's like a light sky blue but it's not shimmer it's a matte and it's not a, like i don't know how to explain it it's just eastery colors when i think about it and then there's also spring colors so if you would like to learn how to do this look please keep watching and i'll talk to you all later bye Okay, let's get this party started. I already primed my eye using Urban Decay Primer Potion, as always. And then my new favorite um, highlight primer-ishness business going on is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I just apply that underneath my brow and I blended it down using my finger. So, once you're doing that, we're going to be taking Gauche's Pencil in Golden Cadillac Number no. 5. Really pretty gold. If you have Corn Shade Stick by MAC, you could definitely use that as well. And just apply that all over the lid and then blend it up. Okay, once you're done blending out that pencil, take your clean MAC 239 brush and take your Makeup Forever Professional Yellow annotation over here because I can't remember the number um, of the shade. And we're just going to apply this all over that pencil on the entire lid up to our crease. And just pack it on very generously. Once you're done putting on that yellow, take your MAC 217 brush and we're going to be taking this shadow right here from Makeup Forever Professional. Again, I can't remember the shade, so here's an annotation with the shade number. And as always, everything is um, posted in the sidebar. So just take a little bit on the tip of your 217, just like that, and we're going to throw this in the crease. And instead of blending it um, down like you're not, you are gonna blend it into that yellow so it fades beautifully but ma majority of the color when you're blending it and fading it blend it up towards the brow bone and just little by little add until you get the intensity that you want and I forgot to put on my piece of tape so do that right now so you get that nice clean cut line once you're done blending that key lime kind of color, um, if you want, you can use your bitter as well from MAC. Um, we're going to be taking our Haunting from MAC, this color right here. Gorgeous light tealy kind of color, sky blue teal. And again, wipe your 217 clean, and just a little bit on the tip. And this, we're going to outline that green. So pretend you're um, using a black marker to trace something. This is the same principle, except using black, we're using this blue. And it's okay if you went up a little bit further than the green, with the green than you wanted to, as I did, because, again, we're going to blend this blue down. It's all about control. If you screw up, you can usually fix it if you know what technique to use. So with my green, I went a little bit too high up. That's fine. I'll just blend the blue down a little bit further. And again, just keep adding little by little until you get the desired shape, intensity, and color that you want. Once you're done blending that haunting, take your swimming. And this we're going to apply um, between that key line from Makeup Forever Professional and that haunting from MAC. And what this is going to do is just going to help blend the two colors a little bit better. So we just get this really nice gradient fade, this nice rainbow effect. Just like that. And then gently remove the piece of tape. Voila, perfect clean cut line. Okay, so I just did my concealer and then I took Max Gesso, it's just a matte white, and I did my highlight. Um, so I blended that milk um, and that blue down together. Next, we are going to be taking our Lemon Soda Gosh Eyeliner Pencil. 
I've used this a few times in my videos, and just on the inner half of your lash line, line it with this pencil. And then on the outer half, you're just going to take Sephora brand um, matte eyeliner pencil number 85, and you're just going to do this on the outer half. And then take your MAC 219 brush, um, dip it in that green that we used from Makeup Forever Professional, set it on that liner, and then wipe it clean, and then take that haunting, and then set that blue that we just did. Once you're done doing that, take your CoverGirl Smoothers Pencil in 451 Sterling Sage, really pretty light teal, and just very thinly line the upper lash line. And then take your angled brush, and take Micabella number 86 gorgeous cerulean kind of color and just dip your angled brush very very sparingly in this and just trace that pencil once you're done doing that just curl your lashes and apply your liquid liner and mascara I realized that um, after both eyes were done, I find it a little bit too light still. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my 219, which is clean, I'm taking Humid, that gorgeous emerald dark forest green. Take the smidge of a hint of an iota of shadow. And then what you're going to do with this is actually line that clean cut line that we have from that tape. And then very carefully and very little, bring it in. Because if I did black, it'd be a little bit too harsh. Whereas this green, it complements everything. And just do a little bit of shading. Take your clean 217 and then just very lightly and gently and carefully bringing it in. Okay, this is the finished look. All I did was my face and my brows. For lips, I did Dior Addict Brun Analogique uh, Lipstick in Stellar Brown number 427. And it's just this brown. So we have the sunshine, the grass, the sky, and then we have dirt <laughs> on your mouth. So it's a great thing to have. Um, it's just a neutral and it complements the look. If you want to do a crazy color um, or a neutral with like a warm um, berry undertone, go nuts. It's your face. Do whatever you want to do with it. Um, yeah, so that's the finished look. I also tight lined my upper and lower waterline using Annabelle's cold pencil in black as always. And yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you like it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Take care.